Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fried Camp. We're playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 in my Phoenix Genesis Survival World with the Natural Texture Pack. And finally, episode 200 of my Minecraft series. And as promised, here is my Brick Mountain Retreat Home. This is a perfect survival home for the most part. It has everything you need. It's nice and spacious and big. <coughs> and, uh... I, I think it's, um, you know, uh, not that resource intensive once you get the brick. You could swap the brick out for uh, a lighter color wood if you wanted to, and it would be very low resource. Um, it would be very easy to build in survival, but I really wanted to do a house in brick. I hadn't done one. This was the first house I built. Um, we'll go out, go outside real quick, look at the outside, and then we'll go um, look at the interior. It's the first house I um, built um, while I was working on the main train station, and I really wanted to um, put some love into it. Um, I've gone back and reworked on it off and on for um, maybe six or eight months till I got it right. We did the tunnel and barbecue, and we did the scarecrow already. Um, the nether portal room originally wasn't part of the house, and also I had dug a room for a basement, and I hadn't... Um, done the basement and those were kind of added last the house let's look at the um nether portal room here this connects to the uh main train station for tra fast transport if you don't want to take the uh, rail nether portal used for fast travel to the train station and this is the basement and a lot of times in um these builds uh in kind of these I don't know on different TV shows like uh, I've seen all like once upon a time they'll have like uh, or even like arrow you'll see like um, a room uh, where part of its brick and then uh, part of it is uh, wood and I just kind of wanted to do that not have it all brick like the rest of the house so I used uh, birch wood and then I used the brick here made a simple fireplace um, which used the natural stone in the background I may swap that out for brick I'm not sure um, and then we have brewing always ready to go nice puffy couch with wool and slabs um cozy den with infinite water well and jacuzzi relax your soul uh door to master uh bathroom and storage by phoenix genesis so this is your little infinite well jacuzzi very simple that's just um that's just a uh, wool i mean you could do that with clay but um i like the coloring of the wool and there um and then this is uh just you know stained clay uh, and, uh, you know, you make a hole here and you make a hole here and you just uh, slap a bucket up there and you've got your little shower wee and a kiosk for, um, you know, shampoo and conditioner and all that great stuff. Um, and that's it. And then over here we've got... Um, Oh, sorry. Uh, originally, I used stone slabs. It looked way too dark and dreary. And then uh, you just use the hoppers for the sinks. Um, you could use cauldrons if you want and just uh, sea lanterns and dark glass to kind of give the illusion of a mirror. Um, towel rack right there with the ladder. And then nether ward and we're growing um, cocoa pods and there's nothing in these chests. These are just like when I'm, you know, adventuring. I needed some extra space because I think all my other chests are kind of full with miscellaneous... Um, junk uh being a pack rat um let's go upstairs i'm not really a pack rat in real right life but you know when you're building in survival you tend to pack rat things um now right here this is the main house um we can come in um you can come in through the there's like three doors you can come in through the ne nether portal um there's this door to backyard uh, lava falls and waterfalls and river caverns so um, you can come in this way, and I used iron fence so uh, you don't like r rush out and bump into the lava. And you have this door, and originally I had a pressure plate to come in, and you know I finally just got rid of that, and just it didn't fit the uh, look of the. It kind of broke up the flow of the walkway and um, the inside of the house. And this uh, originally we just had oak fence, so that's what I used, and I'm just kind of keeping it. I originally had oak doors, and they did not fit the build with the um, spruce, so eventually I just went and um, got rid of those and recently swapped with the spruce. There's my dog Riley, and Phoenix Genesis Scenic Mount Retreat Home by Phoenix Genesis, and nice big painting there. Um, and we have two restrooms, a downstairs and upstairs. They're identical, just a little cauldron. And um, we'll go here. This is the uh, storage room and horse stable straight ahead, right door um, to basement level, den, and nether portal room. And here's our horse stables. Don't forget your saddle lead and armor. And we've got scout and we've got sundowner. And just uh, originally I had an anvil. It says horse stable with anvil, lad, uh, anvil, <laughs> anvil, saddle, and horse armor plus cool horse. Now we have two 
cool horses. And the anvil they were jumping on, it looked like they were going to die from it, so I just kind of got rid of that. And floating horses just kind of look ridiculous. I threw up a little apple, and I like having my iron armor and my saddle good to go, um, uh, so I could just knock it off the item frame and slap it on, and I don't have to remember where it is, and it looks nice. And I think these tulips look nice with the skylight up here. And this little storage room just has miscellaneous junk while I was building, and I just used color wool to kind of look like maybe comforters or comforters or sleeping bags you might have, and just some little saplings, you know, maybe your little plastic Christmassy trees or trees for different occasions, little cactus, um, hay bale for the horses, little jack-o'-lantern to keep stuff lit, crafting table, and just a little chest, um, storage room, linen closet, and sleeping bags and holiday items, just what I just said. And here we have the Phoenix Genesis PS4 Minecraft Survival Seed Phoenix Genesis and Living Room Go Downstairs for Cozy Den. And here we have just a jukebox with CDs. We've got Butcher. He's called Butcher because originally I had a name tag for the Butcher and I realized you need to have two people playing to name the Butcher and the Butcher kind of ran away. It was my first experiment with my um, curing zombie villagers and he ran away never to be seen again so um, I used it on the cat. Uh, and then again a nice puffy couch with stone slabs and wool and nice little uh, cord slabs for a coffee table. Um, very simple. Armor stand fits perfectly right there. Uh, this is the uh, dining room and I just wanted to do something different because I wanted to show through the pattern of the carpet. Uh, so I just used the uh, black glass blocks for the um, kind of tables and just the spruce right here for the um, chairs and this is the handicap one for the service dog. Um, whichever one I want. I've got Riley and I've got Bone Crusher. I've got two dogs. Uh, and then nice simple kitchen. I'm going to show you in the next video how I redesigned the kitchen. Um, it's much better now that I'm more sophisticated and hopefully it'll get you, give you tips on how you can see whether you should remodel something or if you're kind of happy with it and you're good to go. So um, all your basics, you've got your um, little fridge here which pops out your carrots. Um, you put whatever you want in there. Um, this one I decided to do carrots on, you know, three, not one, but three furnaces for cooking, a chest for basic foods, and uh, food stuff, and a um, little bit of glowstone to heat up our um, cauldrons for cooking and uh, washing and, you know, uh, your dishes, whatever, washing your veggies before you cook them, um, and, you know, crafting table for cutting stuff up. And I like putting the crafting tables up here because it looks like your little, um, I don't know, your uh, knives for um, and your various uh, cooking utensils, spoons for stirring, whatever. And I used um, the sea lanterns here. I think they make nice recessed lighting and slap some paintings to kind of cover them up. But uh, and this is just white and light gray um, clay right here. And also, yes, your cookbook, which is just your low level enchanting. So moving on. I think that was all the rooms here. Going upstairs, we've got the uh, kids' kind of bedroom. Bedroom with TV and video game console and patio plus computer or geeky tech person or whatever. Just person um, in the modern age with technology. So we've got the lever to turn on the, um, turn on the uh, television that pops up the... Uh, the trap doors for your um, nice big speakers. You've got your little TV and just a slab for your um, Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Wii, whatever you want it to be. Um, make something up, Phantom Console. Uh, your double bed, your here's your gaming library uh, with your uh, uh, DVDs or whatever. Um, and there's your uh, tablet, your um, computer with your uh, screensaver, and your little... Uh, cushy couch to sit on while you're doing stuff and then uh, we have three decks in this build this one is for um, bone crusher and he's got a nice little blankie um, looks real picnicky you can sit out and play with your dog he's got a food and water dish and just some little plants here make it nice and you get a nice view over here of the scarecrow and um, you can see my tutorial in my last video of the scarecrow and coming through here um, we have, um, I made this funky lamp out of the sea lantern. We have the library with enchantment table by Phoenix Genesis, uh, level 30, good to go, very nicely lit. Um, outdoor patio, garden, carrots with wheat crops, and the upstairs bed bathroom is the same as the other bathroom, very simple. 
And this is like your little tanning salon. You've got your uh, ender chest out here, a double bed so that if you're playing multiplayer, you can both sleep at the same time. Just did a bunch of tulips over here, and you can see Sundowner and Scout. I really like this. And you get a nice view of the um, flowers and the double waterfalls. I'll probably eventually light all this up with torches. Um, it's such a pain because you have to do sca Oh, I got the scaffolding on this house. Oh, it was the first time I did a fancy roof. That was one reason I wanted to do this house, so I could learn how to do something other than a flat roof. And I made a lot of dirt scaffolding. Oh, it was so hard. And I didn't know too much that you could make night vision potions and um, go easily in the ocean and get clay. I mucked around in all these swamps. I mean, and I, oh, I, I didn't know what I was doing. It took forever. Ever, but I mean the the kind of pride after you build something like this in survival it made me feel so good oh and by the way this um the whole build is uh five by five chunks and that's perfect for if you're going to build an enchanting table pretty much everything you need um you could expand this build to make it in six by six or seven by seven or even ten by ten chunks if you want to make it more mansion oriented but um it's pretty easy and also uh, i was going to say this is just oak wood uh fencing here and i i like the double stair I just think it's just more roomy for going up and down. I just uh, single stairs, they just feel too narrow. And with the five by five kind of layout of this build, I mean, you've got also double hallways, and I think that kind of matches, you know, each other. And when you come up here, um, and just everything's kind of nice. Uh, here we have an attic bedroom and study lounge with laptop computer. This is if you want a little privacy. And I think the cyan and gray and and um, light gray carpeting goes nice with the uh, white and red. And I just add this extra red wool. It makes the bed look a little more puffy and comfy. And, you know, just books for the student and different chests. You, so this is kind of nice extra storage. Uh, furnace to keep it warm. Uh, now that we have the... Uh, Red sand. I did this chiseled red sandstone. It looks kind of nice for the desk. And we've got the little laptop that's just a stone pressure, pressure plate and um, a painting. And you got a laptop. Very easy. Um, you could also do this out of any color pressure plate like gold or silver um you know or wood whatever you want to make your laptop out of um and then the little trap chest and this like i said mushrooms always make great lamps and um okay so moving on that's your little study room um attic bedroom and study lounge and this is your small attic with crafting um and take ladder to lookout tower so here we are here we've got um a little extra storage for just whatever junk i had while i was kind of um building this thing you know just slapped it all in there miscellaneous stuff a little bit you know some extra enchanted armor i finally got around the making and um here we are we've got the uh nice little carpeting for that so you know um these are just when i built the uh roof you kind of just ended up with these and i mean you know when you got these extra areas use them in survival don't just kind of waste them and say oh that's just part of the kind of roof design i'll just leave it alone um coming up here this is the lookout tower and armory so um i stuck like an enchanted pickaxe up there and i've got some in, in miscellaneous enchanted armor some diamond armor and the uh chain mail armor which you only get from um trading with the blacksmith so um we'll show you the blacksmith i got that from and how i um saved it, cured him as a zombie villager and then we've got a chest with some really old stuff like really archaic stuff <laughs> And I still have to bring some animals, um, drag some animals over here. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. So just to let you know, eventually I will have animals to, you know, sheep to shear and a cow to milk and a chicken for some eggs. Lookout tower and armory here, a ladder up to crow's nest room. And the crow's nest room, I did a, a couple different things. Uh, originally I had chests there and that kind of just like, I don't know. I wanted something special up here, a reason to kind of go up here. And then I tried nether wart, and that just looks stupid. So once we had these little um, skulls, I think as uh, statuettes, I thought that was perfect. And I made another music lounge up here. So we got the jukebox and trap chest with some music CDs. And we've got the... Uh, the creeper the zombie the regular skull and the wither skull and up here you could pop that out and make a skylight if you want but i just kind of like it all kind of dark and kind of reclusive and secretive you know i don't know maybe you can listen to some like death metal or heavy metal or you know like i don't know chill out music something dark and dreary or something and 
you know, just kind of chill out there. And again, the lookout tower, you get a uh, 360 degree view. Here you've got that waterfall and this is, there is a back entrance that I need to make stairs to go out there. Now you just kind of parkour it out to the back uh, to the um, snowy wooded forest, uh, the, the Targa spruce. And then here, that's your flowers and that's eventually going to be a bridge through the mountains. And this is uh, the area where you can see the train over here, the train rail that takes you back to the main train station. And over here this is just your backyard with your um, lava so anyway I really hope you enjoyed this like I said I spent uh, about six to eight months off and on um, kind of tweaking and working on this house um, did I show you that I think I skipped this balcony I'm sorry um, <laughs> sorry and this is the last deck it's just got flowers and it's just your outdoor eating arrangement if you just want to sit and like chat with friends and um, I don't know watch the lava bird baby bird um, and anyway, that's it. Like I said, I spent a lot of love and time on this and I hope you enjoyed it and inspires you to um, build different types of houses. Once again, it's Phoenix Genesis signing out.